Good morning. My name is Ross War, and I'm here representing Inframanage.com. And today, uh, in March 2016, we're having a discussion with David Fraser and with Tien Tenning uh, about IDS, that is Infrastructure Decision Support. In terms of infrastructure management, it's actually one of New Zealand's best kept secrets. And it is a industry-owned company that provides uh, top-level optimised decision making and analysis for particularly our transportation industry here in New Zealand but also for the water utility network industry as well. David is the chairman of the IDS board and Tens is the CEO. Um, David, you've been involved with IDS since the beginning. Tell me just a little bit about how it started and where it's got to now. Thanks Ross. Yes, Ross, we, we started, um, I guess the concepts were back in the mid-90s, but in 1998 uh, we identified that the uh, DTIM software was the software that would take our whole asset management in New Zealand to a new scale and a, a new um, ability to map the condition of our networks uh, into the future and optimise expenditure and condition uh, based on the investment we had available to us. Great. And, and David, just in terms of very simply the structure, we have a, a, our, our public works engineers have a charitable company uh, with a board and then a commercial delivery arm. Uh, that, do you want to expand on that at all? Uh, Ross, I think you've summed it up pretty well. Um, we, we are owned by the, uh, by the industry and we're for the industry. Uh, any um, returns we can make or, or small margins, I guess, is the right turn in, in, in terms of, uh, of money we put back in. Uh, to the uh, to the development, we're a charitable company, and it's it's great to be part of an enterprise like this. And, and Tens, this uh, project back in the, the late nineties when it, it started off was uh, sufficiently exciting and and revolutionary at the time. That my understanding is it it got you to here to New Zealand from South Africa. That's right, Ross. I got involved in the original implementation in nineteen ninety eight on a a temporary uh, project um, that became permanent later on, so I never left New Zealand after that. Oh, that's very good. Um, so, in terms of the videos, we're going to have a series of seven videos from here where we just unpack a little bit of the, the uh, really great gains we've had as an industry with the IDS project here in New Zealand. Uh, there's been some weaknesses with the model and what we've been doing. We're going to be uh, open about that so that you can learn from our experience. Um, and we're also going to look at uh, just whether the model that we've developed here in New Zealand, which we think is quite innovative, could be applied uh, in the area where you are. Uh, so thanks very much for watching the videos and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.